Hi there, I'm Zapladen. Today, we're going to be making a glow effect in Photoshop. This is what we'll be making today. To get started, you'll just need access to Photoshop. To start, create a new document. We're going to make this document 850 by 850. Now, we need to create a radial gradient. We can do this in a number of ways, but I'm going to do this with the shape tool. First we create the shape, then use the properties panel to change the dimensions to the same as the document, and then the position to the stat so it matches our canvas in position and size. Let's adjust the gradient colors. We'll be using an orange color for the middle and black for the edges. You can use these hex codes if you want the color to match mine. Now we need to make this color a bit more intense. There's an easy way to do this by duplicating the layer. Then set the blend mode to color dodge. Now that's a bit more intense. Before we move on to our glow effect, let's create a smoky texture. We can do this by using filter clouds. First, set the foreground color to white and the background color to black. Now, create a layer. Now we go to filter, render, cloud. You should now have a cloud base like this to work from. The next step, will make the texture look more naturally smoky. Now we'll add a blur to the clouds by going to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Let's set the blur to 20. Now we'll go to Filter, Filter Gallery, Sketch, and select Chrome. Let's keep the default values of 4 and 7 here, then select OK. Now we ensure that the layer properties are set to Overlay with an opacity of 30%. Now we have our smoky background, let's create some tapered lines. First, let's make a new layer. Now we use the pen tool. Select the pen tool, then create a lined shape. For this one, we'll just use three different points. Now, before we move forward, we need to set our brush settings. Select the brush tool, make sure the brush is a hard brush set to round, and then select around a size of 5. We want the line to be thin and tapered, so how thick we make it will depend on the resolution of the image. Now we can go back to the pen tool. Right click the line and select stroke path. Make sure the simulate pressure check mark is selected. This will make sure our line has tapered ends, then select OK. And now we have a line that looks like this. Now let's add some layer styles to this line to make it glow. Click the layer style button on the layers panel. Let's go ahead and add the drop shadow with a blend mode of color dodge. An outer glow to help. And then we add a color overlay to choose the core color. And there we have a pretty convincing glow effect. You might want to come into these effects and adjust the settings to your liking. From here, we can add other lines. I'm going to use a tablet pen to draw a couple here with the brush tool. And now we can just copy the layer style like this. Right click and copy, then paste layer style. From here, we can apply this layer style to any layer we like. This includes text. After you have typed some text, apply the same effects to the text. We can also add some complexity to this image by creating radial gradients. Place the gradient down and select the outside of the gradient to have an opacity of zero. Then select the layer style color and change the opacity. We can move this around and adjust to our liking. And there you have it. Hopefully this tutorial will help you create your own glow effects. If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.